Stakeholders from the economic and public interest have berated the Senate over its justification of luxury vehicles for members. This is coming as the chairman, Senate Committee on Services, Samuel Karimi, said the two chambers of the National Assembly decided to buy luxury vehicles as against homemade vehicles as a result of durability and maintenance. Our correspondent, Dele Fasson, completes the story. Last Friday's call by Serap through the Federal High Court in Lagos to halt the delivery of the SUV to the lawmakers pending the hearing and determination of the application for injunction has led to the economics and rights activists condemning the move by the National Assembly. Let us look at the justification of the Senate. The justification is funny and absurd. First, they were in competition with the ministers who are executive. They justified that because the ministers are using three to four SUV, they must use one of their own. That is baseless argument. The second uh, justification is that our roads are bad. Who makes our road to be bad? Is it the masses or the day in government? The, the duty of the Senate is to call the executive to order, to, uh, to oversight function, so that they can make the road uh, passable for all citizens and not for the senators alone. Uh, our lawmakers regard to the SUV jeep they want to purchase is purely consequential. Because as it is now, Nigeria's economic is done. We shouldn't be thinking of uh, buying such a huge car, huge amount of cars, that will cost Nigeria 5.6 billion naira when we are talking about refining, repairing our refineries and others when our road is bad. Compelling themselves with the ministers is purely consequential. Business is very high in Nigeria. For instance, everything is being imported. For instance, look at from this front up. When you are importing a lot of this, there's one called technological transfer. Is it that the people in government they don't even reason? I don't know. Get experts there, bring them to Nigeria to do these things. This phone can be made in Nigeria. We can get assembly plant to assemble cars in Nigeria. We can get people to do phones in Nigeria. We can get people to plant in Nigeria. They should come over here, start up the industry. It will employ people here. It will give people jobs. It will increase our GDP. Then our Niger, our Naira will become valued. On the economic impact of the SUV valued at 160 million Naira each to the troubled economy, the economists frown over the availability of forests in reviving the economy. Economic implications are very many. First, they are buying this vehicle from abroad. They are imported vehicles. That means about four point something billion of Nigeria money in this day that we are looking for forex. We go to foreign countries, and the multiplier effect of that will be felt in those countries where they are importing those vehicles. And our, doll, our Naira will be the one to suffer for it. Meanwhile, with the present economic situation in the country, Nigerians have the opinion that the National Assembly, whose primary responsibility is to make laws that will benefit the people, must live up to their responsibility in bringing dividends of democracy to the people. From Warren Delta State, Delefaso reporting for Galaxy News.